we used to go out, uh, we used to leave church blooded in the hall, amen? Because she come in with that whip and she'll whip everybody in the room, amen? Amen. 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 But we need that, amen. amen? Amen. Amen. I thank God for that word. I took a few points I wanted to uh, uh, say something about. She said there were some restrictions, amen? Amen. amen. And then she also said there is some suffering that was going to take place during during the process. Who was coming to dinner? And she said Zacchaeus said that he was the chief sinner among the people. He was a tax collector, but he was not he was he was not only a tax collector, but he was rich. Amen. Amen. He was a publican. Amen. And climbed up in the sycamore tree. And Dr. Carolyn said, what tree are, are we in? Or what's hindering us? What are we uh, uh, gravitating to? But think about this. Zacchaeus climbed the tree so he can get a glimpse of the ministry as Jesus was coming along the road. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. And she also said that um, you have to uh, receive more. But you have to give more as well. To whom much is given, much is required. Amen. 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 The truth is, Jesus makes us free. Amen. And she asked us, uh, who report will we trust? Amen. Amen. I had a message today. It's going to be very short right now. <laughs> Amen. Because of um, time. And my message today is this. I have a picture of me and Carol and Chris got married, and I, 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 had, I have it in my Bible right here. I was young on this picture, amen. I know I stuck in my Bible, I guess I'm looking for a blessing. Amen. <laughs> amen. Amen. I look like the old man, Dwayne Wade, now. Amen. You look at those pictures. Carol was just talking about uh, those secrets. Uh, the Johnson girls all day and night long she looked at that picture and uh, she was saying look at Linda <laughs> she said look at Linda sitting up there she just sitting there with a little gap in the tube teeth <laughs> yeah just sitting there look like she was in a one or two amen all right and the title of my message is, when I, I, I had it in my mind, uh, but it's, um, it is finished. Amen? Amen. Amen. It is finished. Amen. They gave Jesus, they put some vinegar on a sponge, and they took it up to the mouth of our Savior, and Jesus said that it is finished. Jesus paid the price for all that we're going through, y'all. Mm -hmm. It is finished. Let us go to Exodus um, 33 for my foundation scripture. And then I'm going to go to um, the book of John. And then I'm going to close. Mm -hmm. And it reads that verse, verse 1, chapter 33. And the Lord said unto Moses, Depart and go up hence. Thou and thou people which thou hast brought up out of the land of Egypt into a land which I swore unto Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, saying, Unto thou seed will I give it. And I will send an angel before thee, and I will drive out the Canaanites, the Amorites, the Hittites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, into a land flowing with milk and honey. For I will not go up in the midst of thee, for thou art a stiff-necked people, Amen. lest I consume thee in my way. And when the people heard this evil tiding, the morning and the man did put him in his ornament. For the Lord has said unto Moses, Say unto the children of Israel, 
Ye are a stiff necked people, and I will come upon thee, midst of thee, in a moment, and consume thee. Therefore, now put off thou ornaments from from thee, that I may know what to do unto thee. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the word, God. I pray that the word will go forth. The word will bless the hearers, the readers, and especially the doers of your word. God, I just pray that you will continue to bless Dr. Carolyn, O oh Father, continue to give her revelation knowledge, continue to open her mind and the heart and her spirit up, God, that she may minister to the hearers and to the hearts of your people. Thank you, God, for the word. Who is coming to dinner, God? And we thank you in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Amen. Jesus lifted up his eyes when he was on the cross. Jesus paid the price for all of our sins. He paid the price that we may receive the promise that was promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jesus will never leave us. He will never fail us. Jesus has fulfilled the promise. Why are we so laxed? Why are we so lazy? Jesus said it. It is finished. He has paid the price. Why are we struggling and so laxy daisy? Why are we giving God our best? We're worrying about something that the price was already paid for. You're healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You're prosperous in Jesus' name. Amen. Every curse, every worry, every struggle, we don't have to struggle with. If Jesus said it is finished, why are we still dealing with it? Why are we struggling with wanting it? Certain people wanting a husband. Why are we struggling with having ideas about business and, and dreams? Jesus said, it is finished. You don't have to struggle with anything anymore. If he prayed the price, why don't we just apply our faith? Why don't we just make some contingencies that's in our lives that people want to come into? This is what you have to do if you want to deal with me. If you want to be a part of this dream or this vision, this is what you have to do. Apply some prerequisites, y'all. Stop allowing people to manipulate and to use us for what we have that they want. Jesus paid the price. Why not the people in our lives paying the price to be a part of what we're trying to do? It is finished. Amen. Why struggle with a, with, with a mental thought when Jesus has paid the price for that mental thought? Just deal with life naturally. Amen? Amen. Amen. I was riding here today and I, I was speaking with Raven. And I want Raven to understand that the magnitude of her voice, and not only her voice, but her behavior. I want people to recognize God that lived within her. Amen. Amen. Not about the negative things about how children should be. And we even, uh, Carolyn even ministered with her last week talking about how she should have been preached a sermon already. Amen. Amen. But by being men and women of God, we will we will not allow Raven to get up before people, no matter how anointed she is, no matter how she can prophesy, no matter what God is doing to her, but without her being obedient to her parents in the word of God first, she will not minister. Amen? Amen. 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 The Bible says charity starts at home first and then spread it abroad. Amen. 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 It is finished. Jesus has paid the price. That my children may have the right start in life. That they should pray. That they should. That they will and should meditate on God's word day and night. It is finished. What is it that you're struggling with? Other than guessing who's coming to dinner. What is it that you're struggling with that you don't believe that can come to pass? Why are you working so hard for something that the price was already paid for? Come on. We are trying to figure this thing out with this money. You're going to continue to struggle. You're going to continue to try to get to where you're trying to go without God. Because we're looking for the money to fix it for you, which we need money. But don't just put all your hope in money. Put all of your trust, all of your hope in God. Amen. Matthew's going to step out on a business venture. He's going to pursue a dream, a goal in his life. In the next few months, in the upcoming year, 
He's going to experience some things in life. He's going to turn some corners. There's going to be some obstacles going to come his way. That's going to try to deter him from being a teacher. Amen. He's going to have to step out on faith and leave a job that he has been depending on for years to provide for him. Now he's going to have to look solely and totally into God to provide for him. Amen. Amen. He's going to have to think about doing more and going uh, at the extra mile for his ministry. Amen. He's going to free up a lot of time and, and in just a glimpse of Matthew, not paying attention to what God has called him to do. He's going to miss it. He's going to waste so much time when he's going to be missing what God had opened up his time for. Mm. Amen. Amen. God is not just opening up this door for him because he's pursuing his career. But there's other things God is going to have Matthew to do for him. Amen? Amen. Thank God last week I was trying to go and uh, get a park for this old ride board in my backyard, which I'm about to do something with the motor and everything. Amen? And uh, <laughs> it's going to cost $100 for this part, $100 for this part, and $100 for this part. And I said, well, just forget about the part. And I uh, asked the guy, did he have a, a, a lawnmower there for sale? And the guy told me he had a lawnmower in the back. It was like had like 30 hours on the engine. It's like a riding mower. It's a, it's a, a, a riding mower that they sell over at the Home Depot. I'm trying to think of the name of it. A, a cab a cadet. That's the name of the lawnmower. We have like a, a 28, 25 horsepower engine in it. It's worth about $1,800. And the guy said he'll sell it to me for about $500. Amen? Amen. And so, think about how good God is. Amen? Amen. And I know God has freed up some of Matthew's time so he can get on that lawn and go cut his brother's yard. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Look how God is working out blessings for the whole church. Because we know Minister Gina may be her yard cut. And we got these young men with these good strong backs. Amen. Amen. So, hey. If you need your yard cut, and if you don't have a lawnmower, you can borrow mine as long as you don't break it. Amen. Amen. So I ain't spending this money for nobody to break it but me. Amen. But that's more than tear up my stuff. Amen. I just wanted to say that. Amen. <laughs> but God is working things out, things out for our good. Amen. 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 In areas, man, that, that we think that this is a struggle for us, God will open the door and create an opportunity for us. God will allow people to be a blessing to you. Amen. Amen. I was just walking through uh, uh, the Home Depot the other day, and I said, look, just like the lawnmower I'm buying. Now, let me go see how much it really costs. Amen. Because the guy said the man that owned the lawnmower was like 75 years old, and he hardly used the thing. It's actually a brand new lawnmower. Amen. Amen. Waiting for me. Amen. Amen. Not you, but me. Amen. Amen. It is finished. We need to put everything in God's hands. See, I put something out on Facebook the other day about helping people with cars. No one showed up for service. But guess what? We still have the vehicle. We still have the dream. We still have the vision. For the person that's willing to step out on faith. Amen. And to believe God's God. See, I put some things out on, on Facebook so, so people can get shook up. Mm. See, people need to step out of their comfort zone. See, a lot of people messed over some tax dollars that they had planning on buying a car with. And hey, those tax dollars you never planned on the purchase of a car. Amen. Because there are people that's lined up in the blessing business. Amen. That will come together and buy you a vehicle. Amen. People that's struggling trying to find out how I'm going to pay my life bill. But are you faithful? Amen. Who are you blessing with your last? Amen. People trying to run from the church, but that's in the area that you would receive your blessing. Amen? Amen? We're not trying to trick people into coming to church, but we're trying to let people know that these, this place is where the blessing lies. He told Moses, but take off your shoes, your sandals, because where you stand is holy ground. Amen? Amen. Every need will be met. Amen? Amen. Let us go to... Uh, uh -oh. mm, let us go to uh, Ephesians 1 and I'll be closed here in a minute I just want us to, to, to understand God and how we should serve him there are many 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 blessings y'all 
that is stored up for us. But if we don't line our lives up, if we don't get some organization, Amen. we're going to continue, man, to miss some things that's in our lives. Amen. Because in order to catch some stuff that you're that, that you're doing wrong in your finances, 